Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, so see this site and this is continuation of Power BI tutorial. So today we are going to start with the visualizations and this is the first video on the visualization. So let's start with the visualization, go to on the Power BI desktop and here we'll try to create the visualizations. So here as I have told you, we have three views. First is the report view, then we have data view, after that we have model view. So we have successfully get the data from the source. After that, we have cleaned that data inside the query editor. And after that, we have successfully loaded that data into Power BI desktop. After that, we have also created the relationship inside the model view. So here you can see we have the country sales final table, then three dimension tables. First is address, then customer, then product. And we have also created the relationship between these tables. So go to on the report view and here we'll try to create the visualization. So before going to start with the visualization, here in the bottom you can see page 2. So either we can add one more page and we can also add a number of pages as per our requirement. And if we want to delete any page, then we can go to on that page and in the right top you can see a cancel button so we can click on that and it will ask now we can delete it so this will be deleted and we can delete the other pages as well so now we can see we have only one page so I hope you have understand how we can add the page and how we can delete the page now we want to rename this page so we can double click on that and here let me call this as first visualization so we can rename like this after that here let's start with the column chart so the first visualization that I'm going to take is the clustered column chart so we can click on that now we can left click on the mouse and we can place anywhere in this pane where we want so I want to make it on the left top then we can click and we can make it bigger as much as we want. After that, here we can see in the visualization below on that, we can see the fields, then we can see the format and the third option that is analytics. So I'm going to start with the fields. So in the fields, we can see we have access, then legend, then value, then tooltips. So in the access, it indicates the x-axis what value will specify over here will be appear or on the x-axis after that the legend it will be work on the visualization and will be splitted the values on the columns according to that legend then the value in the value it will be aggregated the value by which we want to do the aggregation so let's start in the axis I want to use the country wise data so go to on the dim address table and here we have the country details so this is the country name so we can drag and drop in the axis so here we cannot see anything so why we are not seeing anything because in the values we have not defined anything so go to on the country sales final table here I want to calculate the total due amount so here we can see we should have the due amount that is total due so we can drag this and drop in the values here we can see this down arrow so we can click on that here we can see we have the options for the aggregations like either we can sum or average the minimum maximum count distinct count any one of these we can choose so here we can see the visualization that looks good here the first is the United States so here we can see the total due amount is 18513073030.09 after that the Canada then France then UK then Germany then Australia so we have all these values now the next thing I wanna split this data in the, in the columns by due dates so we can see we have the due date in the country sales final table 
so let me drag this due date in the legend and we'll see so here we can see we are having all these values but it doesn't seems good because in the australia we can see it is very low values and here in the canada we can see only one year we have the values is very high other values are very less why we are getting values like this because in the legend in the due day we have used the due date that the exact date and time values now let me select the date hierarchy over here so it will be added according to the year wise data so here we can see if we will go on this then we can see it is year 2013 and if we move down then 2012 then we move down and here we can see 2011 and here 2014 so we have data like this this is for us and australia canada after that france germany and uk so we are having all these values so here we have understand the basics of the visualization and how we can create the first visualization using the clustered column chart and here we have discussed about the axis then we have discussed about the legend and then we have discussed about the values and in the values how we can change the aggregate option so we can use the sum average according to our requirement and in the legend we can select the exact date or we can use the date hierarchy so we have used the date hierarchy as year so we are having this data like this next thing we don't want to use this legend and in the tooltip we'll see the data so how we can use the tooltip we'll see in the next video so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much